Hello Scorpio, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection and how you feel about each other. What are the energies between you? As always, these readings are general, so they will not resonate with every Scorpio watching. So keep that in mind. So let's jump right in for Scorpio. Spirits, angels, angels. Messages, guidance, please. For Scorpio regarding your current connection and how they think or feel about each other for Scorpio. What's going on in the connection between Scorpio and the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? Okay. The energies between Scorpio's person and the person they think about connecting with this time. Okay. okay. So I'm getting that whoever this is that you're dealing with, either you're not communicating with them or showing your interest in them or they're not. It's like this is all happening in secret. Ooh, taking action. This could be somebody planning in secret, keeping tabs on you in secret, planning in secret to take some sort of action. Maybe they haven't really, I don't know. It's almost like I'm, I'm picturing someone that, this is gonna sound really weird, but that doesn't speak. So whatever they're thinking, they haven't told anybody about it, especially you. Let's see, what else can you tell me for Scorpio? I'm also getting like someone that dreams or plans about what they wish they could do. And that's safe because it's secret. No one can judge them and no one can tell them they can't do it. Privileged lady. What else do we need to know about this connection? And they don't have to commit because it's just plans. Main female. So this is about a feminine energy. There's a feminine energy that someone really admires. Bottom of the deck change. Yeah, it's like they wish things could be different. They really look up to this person. Whoever this feminine energy is, they really look up to them. They admire them, possibly from afar could be a Scorpio or your person flip it how it resonates for you so what do we need to know for Scorpio regarding the person they're thinking about or connecting with at this time what are the energies between Scorpio and this other person three of swords reverse eight of wands reverse interesting exactly oh there might be somebody else here how do we what do we need to know I'm not going to take them because I'm cutting the deck but I wanted to look at them Okay, so what's going on right now? Six of Wands reverse, Queen of Wands reverse. Yeah, there's no action here. King of Wands reverse. Could be dealing with a fire sign. All of this is like fire energy, but it's reverse. So whatever someone's attracted to, whatever someone wants to be bold about, whatever someone desires, um, wants to create or passionately go after, it's not happening. Put you on this side and your person's energies over here. It's at the bottom of the deck. The Emperor. Aries energy. Scorpio, you might be dealing with a fire sign or someone with a lot of fire in their chart. But with the Emperor here, again, this is someone that takes charge, takes action. The opposite of a King of Wands reverse and a Queen of Wands reverse. Also, this could be, um, these energies up here could be that there is a partnership that's not doing well. There is a lot of fighting, um, can't get along, self-serving people, selfish people, conceited people. That's the King of Wands reverse and the Queen of Wands reverse. So it could it makes sense that something's not successful. And this could be you, this could be your person. Um, this could be happening outside of your connection. So let's get some insight here. What the heck is going on for you, Scorpio?
Can we get some clarity, please? For Scorpio, what's going on? For Scorpio and this other person. We get some clarity, some insight in these energies. Tell me about the King of Wands reverse and the Queen of Wands reverse. What can you tell me about the King of Wands reverse and the Queen of Wands reverse? The Devil, Capricorn energy. What can you tell me about the Queen of Wands reverse and the King of Wands reverse? Ace of Swords. I feel like this could be a partnership where one person wants out. Yeah, the, the higher font, Taurus energy. This could be a marriage, a long-term commitment. This could be something that looks good on the outside, but isn't really. I'm picturing that someone wants to use this sword to cut themselves free because they're so unhappy where they're at. This does not necessarily have to be this King of Wands and this Queen of Wands. They don't have to be married. This could also be a parental figure with their child. This could be um, siblings. This could be coworkers, bosses, you know. It could be, it's a, some sort of relationship dynamic, I guess I should say, that is leaving someone feeling very miserable. Could be addictions as well. Okay, temperance wanted to come out. Tell me about the Six of Wands reverse. Why is the Six of Wands reverse? Why is the Six of Wands reverse? The Lovers, Gemini Energy. Why is the Six of Wands reverse? Four of Wands, Justice, Libra Energy. This could be a karmic partnership. There's the Two of Cups at the bottom. Yeah, okay. Soulmate Energy, but I'm getting with the Devil. I'm getting like a karmic partner or a karmic partner. Uh, situation so when i look at all of these energies together scorpio i think that someone deserves justice they just haven't gotten it they dream of justice they picture justice they picture things being done you know they picture freedom most likely um, of the situation they currently find themselves in this could be you or your person but one of you wants to be free of an unhealthy situation and possibly this is a marriage or partnership some sort of relationship dynamic tell me about this ace of swords tell me about the ace of swords page of swords yeah knight of swords at the bottom of the deck i feel like someone is it's almost like they cannot ignore the truth of their situation they know the truth they know they probably are doing research too with the page of swords or observing you um keeping tabs on you on this feminine energy because that's their freedom okay this is very specific on your side we have the five of cups and the four of cups on their side we have the ten of wands and the magician oh gosh yeah um i feel you're both not doing well you're both possibly thinking about each other maybe you tug on each other's energies but with the five of cups you have i think you could even be having depression or your mental health has been affected i see you very torn up with what's happened but also like emotionally checked out Scorpio feel free to flip this if it doesn't resonate for you but that's what I'm getting on this side what do we need to know spirit the energies between Scorpio and their person what do we need to know what do we need to know for Scorpio and their person I regret what happened so you have regret Scorpio what about this other person? What are their energies? I love you. Please forgive me at the bottom of the deck. 
is very interesting. I feel like this reading is going to turn very specific. <laughs> Tell me if it resonates for you in the comments. Um, I'd love hearing from you guys when it resonates for you because I know these readings are for someone out there you know but i don't know that until the comments tell me right or the likes are extra like awesome you know that's the only way that i really know tell me about scorpio and this person's energies the moth yeah tell me about this other person before i look at the moth the hummingbird Okay, so with the moth, I'm getting like being drawn to something, but not in the best way. Um, yeah. The moth is sure the grass is greener on the other side. We're attracted to easy solutions. This could lead to disappointment. Life is complex. No matter the illusion, no one's exempt from the challenges. I feel like there was something with this connection that you might have missed or you thought was better than it really was. Maybe you were surprised at the way things ended or you didn't expect this person to be who they ended up being. Um, but I don't think that that makes it any easier knowing that, you know, I don't think that knowing that this was partly an illusion or you didn't see something clearly helps how you feel now. Now they have the hummingbird, very positive, enthusiastic, um, endless energy. Um, they know where the source is, are very resourceful. Um, I think this person is just needing to find hope in any way that they can. And for some reason you are that. I don't think they have as many regrets as you. I mean, maybe they regret how things ended or how they behaved, but they don't regret loving you, you know? Whereas I don't know if I feel that with you here. Feel free to correct me in the comments, but it's almost like you're beating yourself up or, um, a little bit here, but I don't know why. And that's why I said your mental health has been affected. So in some way, you know, maybe you have anxiety or maybe you have, you're not sleeping well. Maybe you are just, nothing brings you joy. Nothing makes you happy right now. You have regrets over the past. You wish you can turn back time. You're constantly looking at the past here with the five of cups and the four of cups. Can I get some more insight into the five of cups? Yeah, and there was the six of cups. I wanted to come out. Tell me about the five of cups and the four of cups. A magician yeah I feel like if, you, if it were up to you you would go back and change things or do things differently Scorpio the chariot cancer energy yeah I feel like you if you could you would rush back to the past you would go back to the past and do things differently you would do you would have a different direction a different way of dealing with the problem or with the relationship Some of you are manifesting this person back into your life because, and maybe that's not your goal, but you're doing it inadvertently. It's like you're manifesting the past to return because you think about it so much. Yeah, you, you're still thinking about this person. It could be an Aries, the Emperor's at the bottom of the deck. You're still thinking about the past. It has a hold on you. And I don't know why. I mean, it'll be different for all of you. Obviously, I don't know every single point of you watching or what you went through, but I feel like even you don't know. <laughs> it's like, why am I still thinking about this? And they're kind of thinking about you as well. Um, now the magician's on their side too, but I get the sense that this is somebody that wants to do something with this 10 of wands. You know, the 10 of wands is clearly a problem. What can I do about it? Tell me about the Ten of Wands and the Magician. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person? Death, Scorpio energy, there you are, and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, I mean, it, they want to they wanna deal with the situation that they're in. They want it to end, but how? Eight of Swords is here, which tells me it's not so simple. Yep. 
they're going to have to make a choice, a choice to leave a situation. Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck here with the Two of Wands. Yeah, this is this is the way that they can be happy. They know that this would be better for them. Um, yeah, because right now that's not what that's not what they're in. Interesting. <sighs> Interesting. Yeah. They're thinking about something better. Yeah. And they're thinking about something completely different. A new opportunity. The person they love. But they're also Eight of Swords. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. They're stuck somewhere. And the Devil is here. So that makes sense. The Devil is all about restrictions, entrapments, feeling stuck. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Something has to end in this person's life. Yeah, Queen of Wands. They would have to be brave, bold, fearless. I don't think that they're ready yet. I think this is somebody that, yeah, Three of Pentacles. If there's someone else, there's this isn't happening anytime soon. If they're in a connection. Um, just because I feel like they would have to be very honest with themselves about the, f how do I explain this? You ha from the beginning of this reading, I've pictured someone who's very comfortable in their anonymity. They're comfortable in the secrecy and the fact that something is hidden. Their desires, their wish, their true love or how they feel about you is protected because it's secret. Okay? They can, they can hide their pain away from everyone and it's safe there no risk right they would have to be completely the opposite to have their son you know the son that kept coming up um to have this ace of cups the death card has to happen there has to be an ending or a change and that's where this person gets stuck that's where they kind of you know for them to go after what they want they would have to end something in their life. And so, it, you know, their wish, their desire is no longer secret. You know, they're, the, the fact that they're unhappy, the fact that they can't, they're feeling stuck, everyone will know, you know, that's kind of what I'm getting here. Everyone will know that I failed or everyone will know that I have wanted this instead of that. For some reason, that's bad. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how else to explain it. Tell me about death. Why is death here? Yeah, the Seven of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Um, I feel like they, um, who else had this reading? Who else had this reading? Aries had a reading where their person had to be the villain. This is very similar. I feel like this person they would have to possibly be seen as the seven of swords when they ended something in their life they could be leaving another person a family um a, a, a job something someone will not be happy with this person's decision it will disrupt their stability that's for sure but i have a feeling that there's like so many energy here with the four of wands the lovers the two of cups six of cups your connection is extremely strong. Your connection is disrupting this person's life, you know? What else do we need to know about this person? I'm starting to understand our connection. Okay, what else? I feel you even though we are apart. Exactly. Um, there is a tie, a bond between you and this person. Uh, some sort of invisible thread. This person cannot escape you. They can't run away from you. They can't run away from how they feel about you. And that's becoming a problem. Because I think in the past, this person could have just kept you close to their chest and secret love, secret admire, that was fine for them. But something is changing. I think that this person is being kind of like pushed, possibly spiritually pushed to deal with this unhappiness um maybe things are getting so uncomfortable where they're at or in their environment that they can't ignore this truth you know something is shifting 
we will be together again. I feel like there is a reunion in the future. Will it happen quickly? I'm not going to pretend that it will. <laughs> I'm not going to be one of those readers that's like, they're coming soon, Scorpio. No, like if it's not in the cards, I'm not going to say it. You know, I don't see any sort of action on this. I do see the magician though. Uh, I see the queen of wands, you know, and I have the hummingbird. So do I feel there's an energy that's pushing your person? Yes. Do I actually see action? No. I think when it comes time to act, they become this eight of swords. But does that mean that it's never going to happen? No. There is definitely a possibility for a future reconnection here. Um, but something will have to change. I don't think you could do things the same way. I don't think you and this person are the same people. A lot of time could have passed between when you were together and now or in the future when you are reconnected in some way. And I also want to be clear, just because the cards say that we will be together again, um, that is completely up to the two people involved, right? Um, th the tarot and the oracle says there's a possibility, there's potential, but it's up to us to make this a reality. It doesn't just happen on its own. Two people have to tango, right? <laughs> two people have to be working together to make this happen. Um, two people have to be brave enough to make changes in their life. And sometimes not everyone can do that. So just keep that in mind. Thank you so much for watching Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I really appreciate you watching and your likes and subscribes. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.